This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, which expression represents the volume of a cylinder whose height is equivalent to the length of the radius? So let's talk about cylinders in general for a minute. And again, one of the challenging aspects of the ASVAB and PICAT is the fact that you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. Now, as far as cylinders are concerned, they are two circular faces connected together by a tube. To find the volume of a cylinder, again, this would be its radius, this would be its height. Uh, you find the area of its circular face. How do you find the area of a circle? Pi r squared, and you multiply that by the height of the cylinder. All right, so this is the formula to find the volume of a cylinder. But in this case, we're told that the height of our cylinder, h, is equal to the length of its radius. That is to say, h is equal to r. So let's go ahead and find the volume of this cylinder now. Again, we're gonna find the area of its circular face, which is gonna be pi r squared. That part doesn't change, but we can see that h is equal to r. So instead of having h here, we're gonna replace it with r. So this becomes volume equals pi r squared times r. And since this isn't an answer choice, that must mean we can simplify this a little bit further and we can, we have r squared, times r. Again, this is the same thing as r to the first power, and we can combine these using the product rule, which says if you have a to the m times a to the n, that's equal to a to the m plus n. So this becomes r to the 2 plus 1, which is r to the third. So the volume of this cylinder, where the height is equal to the radius, is going to be pi r to the third. So this one is clearly b.